It's important to realize that a linear mixer obeys the laws of superposition, which means that as I mix together, no additional frequencies are added other than the ones that I am mixing. So these here are mixing harmonics which is simple multiples of the frequency as you can see that one half the frequency and, th and that one's half the frequency of that so I could easily separate these frequencies with a filter and get them back no additional frequencies have been added other than the ones that I'm putting in if I go now and I mix either of them using the ring modulator, I get modulation, which means that frequencies other than these frequencies are being produced. When we've patched those signals into the ring modulator, you can hear, I'm going to turn it up so you can... yourself that there's frequencies in there now that are not harmonics. There are frequencies in there that are not multiples of the frequencies. You have frequencies in there, in other words, that are not strictly musical. There is no relationship between them. Uh, there's a mathematical relationship, but it's not a musical relationship. On the other hand, when we pass it through a clipper, you'll notice, listen carefully to the sound as I adjust the clip level, and you will see that although this adds a frequencies to the signal, these are musically related. You hear that? sound becomes more reedy. Not much effect until you get down here. So what we're saying is that the frequencies that are being added there are musically related and they're changing the timbre or tone of the sound but they're not actually uh, unrelated as was with the case with the ring modulator